Got your coffee? Are you comfortable? Ready to join me for your headlines as we do every Monday to Thursday right here on the Israel Brief? If so, welcome to it. I am Rolene Marks. This is the Israel Brief where we take a look at those top stories making headlines here in Israel that many of you tell me you don't see in the mainstream media. And as always, the Israel Brief is brought to you by these guys, Lay of the Land. So let's take a look at the top stories. It is day 194 of Israel's war with Hamas, that's Operation Swords of Iron, following the atrocities of the 7th of October. And the big, big headlines over the last couple of days has been about Iran, the Iranian strike unprecedented in the early hours of Sunday morning. And now everybody is waiting to see how Israel will respond. As I mentioned in yesterday's edition of the Israel Brief, Israel has said we will respond. How and when is uh, still up for discussion. And as Benny Gantz, our War Cabinet member and former Defence Chief and IDF Chief of Staff said, Israel will respond in a time and a manner that suits us. However, the world is concerned that we might be teetering on the brink of World War III. So countries are trying to de-escalate tensions in the Middle East and one likely route for that is to apply increasing sanctions to the Iranian regime. National Security Advisor for the United States, Jake Sullivan, has said that new sanctions are in the process of being prepared. And the EU's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, also indicated that EU countries are likely to go the way of sanctions. This is something echoed by the United Kingdom as well. David Cameron, the foreign secretary for the United Kingdom, saying that uh, they are busy preparing more sanctions against the Iranians. Meanwhile, Foreign Minister Cameron as well as the German Foreign Minister are in Israel. They will meet with President Herzog, Prime Minister Netanyahu as well as Foreign Minister Katz. Foreign Minister Katz yesterday wrote a letter and spoke to foreign ministers and ambassadors from over 32 countries also advocating for more sanctions on the Iranian regime. Speaking earlier to the media, David Cameron said that it is clear that Israel has decided to respond. However, they uh, hope that Israel's response will be in a way that does not escalate the current situation. Last night, Prime Minister Netanyahu spoke to his British counterpart, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, and thanked the Prime Minister for the incredible role that the RAF played on uh, uh, the uh, coalition in helping to fight the massive, massive attack on Israeli sovereign territory by Iran. Uh, however, Sunak did warn Netanyahu that an escalation does not serve or does not benefit anyone. Meanwhile, a short while ago, Hezbollah, an Iranian proxy, claimed responsibility for the firing of rockets and drones towards the north of Israel. One of the drones hit a community center in an Arab village and has injured 13 people, one of them seriously. We now go to the United States, where last night the U.S. House of Representatives voted 377 to 44 in favor of a resolution that declares the phrase from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free anti-Semitic. Now, many who march around the world say that this is free speech and all they are doing is calling for, the, uh, for a free Palestine. However, it's much, much more nefarious than that. The chant is actually a call for the genocide of Israel. The river, which many of them don't have a clue about, is the Jordan River. And the sea, which many of them also don't have a clue about, is the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, if you are calling from what exists between the Mediterranean and the Jordan River to, to, to be, uh, for the Palestinians to be free of that, for that not to exist, that means the elimination of the world's only Jewish state.
Voting, opposing it, uh, were people like Rashida Tlaib, no great shock. Uh, Ayanda Presley, no great shock. Cory Bush, no great shocker there. Jamal Bowman, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and various others of the squad. They happen to all be Democrats except for one Republican. Staying in the United States and a member of co members of Congress, rather plural, have sent a scathing letter to South African President Cyril Ramaphosa lambasting the uh, African state for their case against Israel at the ICJ, that's the International Court of Justice, with the fallacious accusation of genocide, but also strongly took them to task uh, for the threats to arrest South Africans who are serving or who have served in the Israel Defense Forces. It's quite a strongly worded letter and uh, basically it says that there are absolutely no laws to support that and when you are fighting an army that calls for your extermination you are well within your right to fight them. And by army they mean a army of Hamas terrorists. The Qatari Prime Minister has said talks on the Gaza ceasefire have reached a very, very delicate phase, but they are trying to do everything they can to overcome the obstacles. As you recall, yesterday I said Hamas have said that they will only release 20 hostages instead of 40 hostages that Israel is demanding in the first phase of what could be a six-week-long ceasefire. And finally, we go to the United Nations, where the United Nations Security Council was unable to make a unanimous recommendation on an application by the Palestinian Authority for full member status. The Palestinian Authority currently has observer status, and to award them full member status is basically recognizing a Palestinian state. In order for full member status to happen, the Palestinians uh, have to have this approved by the UN Security Council. This will go to a vote in uh, the General Assembly, but it is highly likely that the US will veto UN Security Council approval. And those are our top stories. Don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. Our YouTube channel is right here where you are watching right now. So if you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you're not watching on YouTube, you can find us at The Israel Brief. We are on Facebook. Our community there is growing. So come on, be part of the family. You know we have a family here at The Israel Brief. And you can find us at L-O-T-L-S-I-T-E. So that's at Lottle Site. And uh, we're on X at Lay of the Land 5. I'm Roline Marks, joined by some very, very vocal uh, birds. Uh, birds song quite late in the day. And uh, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I will catch you tomorrow before we head into the weekend. God bless. Bye for now.